Yes, hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Lao Ang Northern Samar. Yes, hello. Good evening, Tacloban. Good evening, Philippines. Good yes. morning, good afternoon to some other parts of the world. Yes. And you are now tuning in to Kingdom, Kingdom Talk. Talk. So yes. this is your coach, Prezi. Coach, yeah. And this will be your host for tonight in this program, Kingdom Talk mm-hmm. Philippines. And we thank you and we welcome everyone for coming in. Just yes. join us for another hour of this program. Kingdom Talk. Uh, let, uh, let's put on air who has been uh, the Ganda. one who has been given the privilege mm-hmm. to introduce our guest tonight. Yes. And her name is Sister Pia from Hong Kong. Yes, okay. Blessings to everyone. Blessings to all the Kingdom citizens all yeah. over the world. Blessings to Kingdom Talk. Blessings to Coach Presi and Coach Ariel. Wow. This is Pia Bain from Ikma, Hong Kong. Wow. I am well pleased to introduce to you our guest is speaker. Ladies and gentlemen of the kingdom, I may now present to you the dynamic woman. Our guest is speaker, Dr. Nancy B. Bukalan of Ocala, Florida, USA. Yeah. Thank you for that very powerful <laughs> introduction. Wow, and, wow, uh, wow. Yeah, Sister Pia. And, I don't know what's crazy. Think about your damit, Sister Pia. Ang yes, ganda. That's right. So uh, I really love that talaga, shirt. Uh, yung kulay at mm-hmm. saka yung nakalagay na... Righteousness. Yes. Kingdom righteousness. And I wow. really love that shirt, Sister Pia. <laughs> and I think and I know that magkakulay team. tayo ngayon. <laughs> We are on the blue team. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Okay, Coach Presley. Okay, Pressy. so wag na natin patagalin, Coach Harry, because I believe that everyone is excited again to hear our guest for tonight, no other than Dr. Nancy Bukalan from Florida. Yes. Hello, everybody. Hello, Coach Ariel yes. and Coach Presley. Hello to you and your family. <laughs> and how are you doing tonight in doing the Philippines? <laughs> It is good to be back here again yeah. on Kingdom Talk. And of course, I want to say hello to all those who are watching on Facebook Live, those in the United States. Good morning to all of you. And of course, if you are in different parts of the world, God bless you. Greetings to you. And right now, I am yes. thankful and grateful to our mm-hmm. Father in Heaven. Of course, He is the author of this time that we are together on the media kingdom talk facebook live and those who are yes. listening in the radio station in tacloban city lambrag radio station yes. greetings yes. to you and those who are in lawang samar radio mm-hmm. natin thank mm-hmm. you so much for allowing coach ariel and coach pressy to be on the air in order to express who they are and express the things that God is doing in their lives for they have discovered principles and laws and discovered their true mandate in the kingdom of God here on yes. earth. And I thank you, Coach Ariel and Coach Presley, for being so dedicated and just being hard workers yeah. to continue to disseminate Glory and, of course, to bring others in the kingdom to come together connect one another and make this platform as a fellowship and gathering of kings wow. and yeah. priests <laughs> this is a holy gathering right now mm-hmm. this is a sanctified platform right now yeah. this is a holy and consecrated gathering of the saints of god in the airwaves and we are ruling right now upon the airwaves So no distractions and yeah. no interference, no in, uh, uh, interferences from the mm-hmm. airwaves is going to take place and going to come against this broadcast here right now on Kingdom Talk. So thank you again and I uh, want to share with you this morning here in the United States and as you yes. already probably have seen the flyer mm-hmm. that I'll be talking about. Kingdom living, it is a living from within. 
As you all know, if you have been watching Kingdom Talk and following the shows, it's been three or four weeks that I have been yes. sharing about the Kingdom lifestyle that yeah. is the living from the inside out. Mm -hmm. I have laid out some foundations on what it is to live that is looking from the inside our own selves instead of looking from the outside yeah. because the world that's around us is enticing mm -hmm. mankind to be drawn out of their position, yeah. out of the original position mm -hmm. that God has ordained man yes. to be and to work and to function yeah. that is to depend or to be influenced by the outside world in which we know that the kingdom of darkness mm -hmm. is ruling and operating on the outside world and in mm -hmm. darkness. Mm -hmm. So now that Jesus came, he said that you are are the light of the world yeah. because Jesus in us is the light of the world mm -hmm. and because we have accepted him we have allowed him to be our Lord mm -hmm. and Savior to control our lives he then allow us to become the light here in the world right. so kingdom living in the inside out and I want to give some few verses today so it can be mm -hmm. biblically based and scripturally based mm -hmm. but of course at the same times I will just go with the flow with the download of the Holy Spirit because mainly kingdom living comes out from a revelatory message a revelation of the Holy Spirit into our spirit and mind and soul so that we can speak and release what has been revealed yeah. that in the inside of those who have ears to hear the Word of God of those who hear the voice of God and you Saints all of you sons of God have this hearing that is given by God that we can hear his voice and when we got born again we are given a new spiritual hearing sense which is that of the spiritual hearing and not only that but we can also now see beyond the eyes and the vision on this physical world but we have that spiritual eyes yeah. so what is kingdom living and I the main verse that really says a lot about kingdom living as living from within to the outside is found in Luke 17 20 21 this is where when Jesus was talking to his disciples because the disciples were expecting and still looking for the kingdom of God to come and to arrive and to know when the kingdom is coming uh, because the minds and the ears and the eyes of the disciples were not fully opened yet to the truth of the message of the kingdom of God yeah. that he said in that verse that the kingdom of God does not come with mm -hmm. observation yeah. that means yes. we cannot perceive the kingdom of God just by seeing what is taking place on the outside what is being manifested on the outside that we have to start seeing the kingdom of God from within our inner mind mm -hmm. and our yeah. inner spirit first and yeah. behold and experience it in the invisible and and it takes some time for someone to discover and see uh, us being kingdom citizens because we are actually standing on the invisible world with the yeah. kingdom mm -hmm. and before it becomes evident to others we have to actually mm -hmm. speak about it act the way what the kingdom is about and also behave of what the culture of the kingdom is in the inside of us so on, on that verse it says it doesn't come with observation but the kingdom of God is not here nor there I'm paraphrasing mm -hmm. but it is within you yeah the meaning of within you there means in the midst of you mm -hmm. among you because the kingdom of God is a spiritual kingdom so right now as we are joining a uh, coach Ariel and coach Pressy 
the kingdom of God is present. Yes. We are now acting and doing and gathering together in the midst of the Father because we are in the realm of the invisible kingdom, but we are speaking about it. We're gathering together. We are drawn into it. We are drawn of what's already in the inside of us. So Jesus said that the kingdom of God is within you. It is in the inner being of mankind, of those who have received it, of those who are born again, of those who have entered into that realm. You know, in John 3, 5, uh, Jesus said that unless a man be born of water and spirit, they will not enter into the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So the kingdom of God, I, I want to say this, that um, the kingdom of God is not truly a destination. Mm -hmm. It is not something that is far away that we have to walk into or get into or go to. Religion has taught us that heaven is a destination that we will get there when we die. That mm -hmm. when we die, it is a place that we were actually going to experience mm -hmm. joy, peace, everything that, that the nature of God is, we will experience there. But now, I'm not saying that, the, the heaven, that we will not go to heaven, you know, when a man dies who are born again, will be in the heavenlies, will be in the invisible kingdom in the mm -hmm. heaven with the Father. I'm not saying that, you know, on the present age, that when man dies, that it is not a place or a realm or a state that our spirit, that the spirit of man will go there. What I'm talking about is the present kingdom mm -hmm. that right now religion is teaching us that yes we're going to experience things here in the world hardship and and all that that the world brings upon us mm -hmm. because it is over and ruled by the kingdom of darkness but we were not you know it's not just we're going to experience all that and then later on we will get to heaven as mm -hmm. born again and believers what the message is about that Jesus is teaching uh, when he first started his ministry is he wanted mankind to change the way we actually think to turn around. Yes. Um, and I want to just share this insight that it's not just changing our mind, but the word change there means metanoia, which is to turn, mm -hmm. yeah. to turn, to make a a 180 degrees turn because we are man is heading in a wrong direction man's consciousness and mindset is heading towards the wrong direction so jesus came to redirect mankind to allow mankind to turn and see instead of going to a destination in heaven, mm -hmm. but to turn around and truly face which way we should be going, which is to go into the earth. Yes. So God and Jesus wanted us to turn, not looking as heaven as a destination, but to turn and look towards earth as our place to be where we're going to rule and mm -hmm. manifest our mm -hmm. sonship and manifest heaven mm -hmm. because we are designed and created to be here on earth. Yeah. Yeah. So heaven is not a destination. Mm -hmm. It is an origination. Wow. I want to mm -hmm. say that again. Heaven is an origination and not a destination because the kingdom of heaven is everlasting it has no beginning and no end so it's not an ending it's not even a beginning because god is eternal and everlasting we were created from everlasting to everlasting. Mm -hmm. What happened is in the beginning and the creation of the world that God put space, time, and matter so that he can express heaven and himself in the physical realm. So what Jesus was saying, to turn around, don't look at heaven as a destination, mm -hmm. but turn around now 
looking at heaven as your origination, that you came from it. Yeah. That now when you enter into the kingdom of God, so it's not, you know, it's not really that we're doing works towards a destination. We're not doing works towards heaven, mm -hmm. but we are doing works from heaven. Mm -hmm. We are doing good works of the heaven. We are walking here on earth from the original place that mm -hmm. we came from. Yes. So now... You know, it's not even, uh, we don't have to make an effort to reach out to God because God has already made a way mm -hmm. to bring himself, mm -hmm. to bring the kingdom, to bring that original place, to bring the original realm of where we came from mm -hmm. to us yeah. individually through Christ. Because it says, Paul says, that the kingdom of God is in the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when the Holy Spirit starts to reside in a man who has turned around and went back to God, went back to the Father, the Holy Spirit and the Father and Jesus now resides in that man. Mm -hmm. Now that man, born again man, has been translated. Mm -hmm. The word translation, it has been turned around. Mm -hmm. It has been reverted back. Mm -hmm. It has been reversed and turned into, mm -hmm. uh, into a place that man originally came from. Mm -hmm. So now, as kingdom citizens, we are supposed to live and walk according from our origination. As original people of God mm -hmm. that He created. So we are now coming from our origin and walking here on earth to manifest and bring the heavenly realm mm -hmm. to the world we are living in now. Yes. And of course, we're going to rule in the future as well. When the full revelation comes, there mm -hmm. will be new heaven and new earth. So kingdom living begins with turning around instead of the outside in to inside out. And I mentioned this possibly three or four weeks ago, that when Adam has subjected himself to the devil, to Satan, to the enemy, he actually has got, gotten out of the realm of the kingdom. It was not truly a location or a place. It's a state. It's a realm. It's a consciousness. It's a thinking. You know, it is an environment that man has fallen from, that man has turned around from. Instead of looking from the where they're coming from God into the outside, the enemy became now man or Adam's uh, ruler. Mm -hmm. So the, the realm has got turned around to where now Adam was functioning and operating on the other side of the world, yeah. on the other side of the kingdom, which is mm -hmm. the kingdom of darkness. But Jesus came to revert us back into the original. So kingdom living starts with the repentance. Mm -hmm. If we look at the New Testament, if you click in the word enter and then enter the kingdom of God, everything and a lot of the verses that talks about the kingdom of God is not going into heaven in the invisible, is not going into the kingdom like it is in the future and like it is a far distant place, but it is actually in the present that we can now enter into it. We can turn around, change our paradigm, change our hearts, mm -hmm. and enter into our origination, which is the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. So once we are uh, translated, and once we enter into the kingdom of heaven, that is present in the inside of us now, and those who are not born again, you know, Jesus is here now. The kingdom of heaven is here now. Yeah. God is omnipresent. The kingdom of heaven is in the midst of us. 
it is close to you. It is near you. It has arrived. Now the key is for you to surrender your will to enter and go back to the rulership and reign of God to go back into the life that God originally has planned for man yeah. to live on earth which is living with God yeah. and in God and walking with him here on earth wow. and we can receive that kingdom and that's why Jesus was saying the kingdom of God has now been given unto you mm -hmm. here you know it is my good pleasure it is the father's pleasure to give you the kingdom yes it is here we can start living in the kingdom now within us and us within God because we are now one with God so not only God is with us and is us, but we are in God and in the kingdom right now. And we can start living from the instructions and operations procedures that comes from the inside spirit who dwells in us. The Holy Spirit is our great teacher. Yeah. You know, we ourselves, our body is like a walking classroom. Our body is not just a walking house of God. Mm -hmm. Our body is not just a walking temple, a place of worship. Our body is also a place of classroom, mm -hmm. a place where teaching and discourse and conversation takes place. It is also a special room that we have that mm -hmm. we can go in the inside of us yes. that in, you know, in, in a moment or in just in, in a, in a fast fast translation of our mind and through meditation and through the spiritual eyes and ears mm -hmm. we can instantly hear and see and experience the kingdom of God so as we are um, joined together here on Facebook live and on Radio Nati and in, in Lamrag radio mm -hmm. station we are actually drawn together Yes. by the invisible spirit wow. of the kingdom mm -hmm. of God right. the Holy Spirit he is our great teacher right now not only individually we have our own classroom where we can go in the inside and hear from God we become the whole classrooms as well mm -hmm. we are like a university we are a college of learning when we come together corporately because the kingdom of God is not just limited in the inside of us yeah. because the kingdom of God is an everlasting and yeah. uh, transcends time and place and location. Mm -hmm. So the kingdom of God is within us mm -hmm. that we have a place in the inside of us, not only a place, but a person, a personal trainer, mm -hmm. a personal yeah. coach, a personal mentor, a personal guide that will lead us to live of what he's telling us on the inside mm -hmm. and what is showing us on the inside mm -hmm. and what is making us to do on the inside to now then apply it and 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 work on it and walk here on earth mm -hmm. just like what we see it in the inside of us that's why heaven and earth is one that we are to reconcile earth to heaven mm -hmm. and heaven to earth. We are the portal. We are the one that yeah. has the inner room in the inside of us so we can strategically, there are strategies for us to influence the outside world by understanding and gaining knowledge with the, our spiritual teacher who is the Holy Spirit so that we can be effective on the outside. Yes. Our mandate is to influence this world with that of the kingdom of heaven so that the others who have not entered the kingdom can be led into the kingdom of God. Yes. Not to, to experience it in the future, not for them just to experience it when they die because Yes, it is eternal life, but eternity begins now as well. Yeah. Because in the heaven, there is no end. There mm -hmm. is no beginning. It is everlasting. It is eternity. Yeah. So there is an inner room. Yeah. 
Now, as kingdom citizens, as saints and sons of God, kingdom living from the inside out is receiving a direct revelation mm -hmm. from our originator, a direct revelation, a direct voice of God mm -hmm. from our originator who is sitting mm -hmm. with us and inside us, mm -hmm. who is always ready to reveal things to us, mm -hmm. who is always ready to unfold and disclose the things that are hidden in the eyes of mm -hmm. those who are not seeking the kingdom. Yeah. He is ready to reveal more to come yeah. in our lives, mm -hmm. more to come in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, it says there in John that he is going, you know, I'm paraphrasing this, that the Spirit lives in us and He will show things to come. Mm -hmm. wow. You and I get to see firsthand mm -hmm. what already is going to take place in the future. Yes. If we stay in that inner room, that kingdom that is within us and getting instructions mm -hmm. and getting uh, all the um, firsthand teaching mm -hmm. from the Holy Spirit, we get to experience things even before it comes to pass. Mm -hmm. right. We will see things before it comes to pass. That's why there is joy because things that are of the kingdom are always of greater things and things mm -hmm. that will bring us joy. So now we experience our joy now because why? We're seeing things already of what God has done, mm -hmm. you know, through our inner room that yes. is within us what the kingdom has already done and given unto us that we know is going to come to pass in time and as we walk here on earth. Mm -hmm. And I want to leave uh, you with this uh, verse um, which is found in um, Ezekiel 36. Mm -hmm. So the kingdom living is living from within, mm -hmm. from our inner room, our yes. inner place, our inner chamber, where the Holy Spirit is in us, Ezekiel 36, 26 to 27. He said here, A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. So when Jesus said the kingdom of God is within you, the kingdom of God has arrived, the Holy Spirit, Christ himself has come. And now the Holy Spirit during Pentecost has come and the Holy Spirit is present here now. And he will, I, I will give you and a new spirit will I put within you. Mm -hmm. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and I will give you a heart of flesh. Wow. Verse 27. And I will put my spirit wow. within you yes. and cause you to walk in my statutes and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. Mm -hmm. So this is the parallel, almost the, what Jesus said, that the kingdom of God is within you, that in Christ, we have now the, again, the spirit of God residing in us yeah. where we should start living from, mm -hmm. living from and of the spirit of God that is in the inside of us. So we can truly operate according to our purpose mm -hmm. our purpose here on earth is to expand and advance the kingdom of god to rule here over the earth we're mm -hmm. not designed to chase after things mm -hmm. we produce things wow. yes. yeah. we produce from within with the holy spirit we don't chase after those things that are the outside. We produce them and we're supposed to chase the things of the inside of us. The things that are in the spirit of God in us. We are to chase what's within us. We have to chase our purpose within us instead of chasing of what's on the outside. Mm -hmm. We are designed to live from the inside out. And mm -hmm. inside is the spirit of God. So I want to leave that there. I thank you so much, Coach Ariel and Coach Pressy, for allowing me to be with you again yes, and to be able to share 
about the kingdom of God and to speak about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ himself, that he truly is a good and a loving God, that he brought himself so that we don't have to work hard, so that we don't have to toil, Mm -hmm. but he has come to bring us back to within Mm -hmm. and the inside of him so yes. we can really live to the life wow. that we originally have been created for. Wow. I love you all. God bless you. I will see you next time again. Yeah. Yeah. Good <laughs> evening, Philippines. Good morning, United States. And have an awesome, awesome time wherever you are right now. God bless you. Wow. Well, Thank, thank you very much, Doc. So that was a really <laughs> a powerful message yes. again from Dr. Nancy Bukalan. So, thank you very much once again for joining us this evening. This is your Coach Ayel. And this is your Coach Pressy. And we'll be saying, God bless more, Kingdom favor, and have a great night to everyone. Kingdom, kingdom salute, salute to, to everyone. everyone. See you again this coming Wednesday here on Kingdom, kingdom Talk. Talk. Bye for now. We love you. We love you. Thank you very much. And have a great day and have a great night.